There are two paths to your spiritual evolution and to your healing and to your growth. The first one is the indirect path. And it's the path where we are taking steps, we're doing efforts to improve ourselves, to become better, to fix ourselves, to deal with the limiting beliefs and so on, the shadow work. And we've all done that, and it's a beautiful thing, it helps us, but the thing is that it has a limitation, because we're doing it from the ego level. So after one point, it doesn't work anymore, and actually it amplifies, because our energy, our focus is on what is not working, it actually amplifies that. It's like a, you know, like a, a big uh, animal with the ten heads, let's say, and you cut one, it grows five more. We put the energy, the focus on what's not working, how to improve ourselves, always fixing, fixing, and it's uh, it's actually detrimental to our growth at some point. So then comes the second path, which is the direct path, the direct path to God, to our uh, true self, and it's a path where we surrender the ego and we devote ourselves <coughs> to our calling, to God, to truth, whatever you want to call it. And it's a, a process where we don't focus anymore on what's not working. We accept ourselves fully, all our human aspects, all our, our shadows, fears, and uh, we choose the absolute. We choose the truth, we choose God. We choose to follow our heart's calling, because actually this is the connection to God. This is how the universe or the divine wants to manifest through us. And it's uh, like the map of how we go step by step in our journey to self-realization. So in this path, it's full of awakening our love for ourselves, for all the wounded aspects in ourselves, not judging anymore, getting out of duality of what's good and bad. And uh, as I said, following, oops, <laughs> sorry, a big wave, uh, following our bliss, our joy, even if the wounded aspects are still there, of course, but we heal them indirectly through the divine grace, through when they show up in our experience, we alchemize them from love. From presence we don't fight with them anymore we just let them be and always redirecting our focus on what is calling us on love so it's a total totally different approach it's a fundamentally big shift in perspective so I hope it uh, resonates with you I hope it calls you and if you want to uh, find out more or have any question to Detail how this actually works in practice. Leave me a comment and I'll follow up with another video.